Hello YouTube and welcome to a brand new Java tutorial. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is continue with our game partially and learning new Java aspects which we will in a minute. But the first thing we're going to do, look where we are. So I've got this in which hopefully you can see with the magnifier. So username is YouTube and password is password. So when we click submit it says you are logged in. Probably just for that, your um, window so it'd be cool to like not show me it. But we've got it here, Tamagotchi. When we click it, it brings up our game here, where we have our bladder, hunger, and tiredness. Check button and plus and equals. So if we press the plus thing, you can see our bladder goes up by one. And then when we get too high, it says your character needs to go to the bathroom. So what we're going to do today is make it so we've got like a toilet kind of thing. So you click it, and then it gets rid of it. Otherwise, it creates an object on screen basically a puddle if you wish so the cactus peed himself and we can say that so like when it gets to maximum full stop it creates something say here or something I don't know and then your bladder goes down anyway so it seems cool and it's really cool to do because you learn new things as well so we're gonna start by going to our game page here and first what we need is basically a toilet pretty much so we're going to copy this button right click copy right click paste you could always click duplicate if you really wanted to and I'm going to drag it up here uh, roughly put it here drag it down a little bit and we'll simply right click change variable name and for variable name we will call it um, toilet seems easy enough doesn't it and what we'll do is we'll find in the properties here, if you haven't got it you can go Windows Properties right there or press Control Shift 7 and change the text to Toilet. Easy. So we'll click it and all we've got to do is simply type here this exact line here. So bladder amount dot set value. So we'll type that here. Bladder amount dot set value lowercase s big case V. If you don't know what bladder amount is, I'm guessing you haven't watched any other of my videos, but it's basically the progress bar right here. So bladder, that's called uh, bladder amount, it says it right there. So we're basically changing the value which changes how much is in it. So dot set value is zero. That's it, so when we click the toilet it makes our bladder zero. That's it. And then we can just copy check stats and paste it in here. Because then the, what that will do is hide, down here it will hide our text once our bladder is like not used. It's easy. So what we can do though is I'm actually going to exp um, expand this as well. So where it says if bladder amount dot get value is more than 70, do that, else do that. I'm going to say here, duplicate it again, so we've got two of them as you can see. If bladder amount dot get value is more than or equal to and if we put more than or equal to there it basically means if it equals 70 or more whereas this one here simply says if it's more than 70 so if it equals 70 it doesn't matter and I'm also going to put it there and then I'm going to change this top 70 so you've got two this top 70 to 90 your character here will change to is about to pee themselves so, if it equals more than 90, or it equals 90, your character's about to pee themselves. So it wants the user. And then, it'll come down here, but it'll go if, if. And now what this will do is, every time it calls pub, um, check starts, it'll read, is it more than 90? No. But then it'll instantly check this, even if that is true. So if it's more than 90, it's going to print it out as that, then change it to that, which is not what we need. So what we're going to do is simply type here, else. And what this will do is if this one here is true, then it skips. It's done. If it equals false, then it's going to come down and try this one. And if it can't do this one, then obviously it's below 70, so it must be that. Right? Logic. Easy. So we don't even need to test that, really. But we do need to test the toilet, so we kind of do. So we can click play. And when it loads, we get this here. You all know this. I need a bigger magnifying screen. See if I can stretch it out here. Maybe you can see better. There you go. And then change this to password. And click submit. So you see there. Apologies for that. I had people intruding. 
but yes. So we click Tamagotchi and it comes up with this. We now have the toilet button. Perfect, right? I hope. So if I bring this, say, here, and then... Now I think that works much better. I'm still getting used to this. Nobody said whether they liked it or not, but I think it's better because you can see everything. So you can see the code. But yeah, so bladder. So let's click the plus button. Plus, plus, plus. You can see, still there. Plus, 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 plus. Your character needs to go to the bathroom, so that equals 70. Click it again. One more time. Your character is about to pee themselves. We click it and nothing happens because we haven't done anything yet. But they need to pee themselves. But, what happens if we click toilet? So, I don't think I can show you this both at the same time. But with the power of magic, I can. When I click the toilet, you will see. You still can't see it. Okay, that make no help. Boom. Bladder's gone. And then this has just gone too. So, it worked perfectly. So, what do we need to do now? We need to create a puddle. Yes. Now, there's two ways we can actually do this. One of the ways is very efficient. The other isn't. But it's personal preference. Right, the first way we could do it is we could have a button here. In fact, get rid of that. In fact, we, we do want a button. So, we can click that and we can type some P or P. This is your Wii, whatever. And then you just hide it, show it, hide it, show it. But then again, that means you have to hide and show it. And then what about if they pee themselves multiple times? What are you going to do then? See, that's where we stuck. But there's another way you can do it. You can actually code a button from the main, from your script. You can actually code a button directly in. And it's really, really easy. So what we're going to do is every time it comes down and checks here, your character is about to pee themselves. Okay, then let's add one more, so just like we did a minute ago, and what we're going to do is actually set it to 100, So, but it can't be more than 100, because that's maximum value is 100, so this is where we just put two equals, so if get value equals 100, then here, your character has just peed themselves, <coughs> so, so the characters just peed themselves. Nice, yeah? So what do we do after that? Well, we set it back to zero. Because they've peed themselves, they're relieved. You don't stop peeing. At, you just don't do that. You pee. Once you pee, you pee. It's, yeah. And I just thought, someone record how many times I said pee in this video. That, yeah, it'd be funny. But use a help, that show true. So, characters just pee themselves. Oh, dear. So now what we need to do is in here is create a button. So every time it pees themselves, it creates this button. Apologies for that, my voice decided it just didn't want to work. But yeah. So we've got, if it equals <coughs> 100, your characters just pee themselves. But if it equals 100, it's still going to check this. So again, we have to put our else if here. So if it equals 100, do this, else do this, this, this. So where do we want to create our P? Well, we want to create it right here, don't we? So in here, wherever you like, just as long as it's somewhere, we're going to type simply the name of the component we want to add. Well, in C-sharp, you know, no, I prefer C-sharp, it's just button. But in here, they decided to call it J-button. No idea why. But J. So J, button, capital J, capital B. And then after that, you put a name of it. So just like you're creating a variable. So J-button, we'll call it P, since we are creating P. And then we're going to put something weird, just like we load a form, equals new P, not P, J button, apologies, and then two brackets, so just like that, <coughs> apologies, um, so you see it says it doesn't understand what J button is, but if you're in NetBeans you can press Alt Enter, and then you click Add Import, and what it'll do is if you're not in J NetBeans, it'll simply add this import line, and what this basically does is it means import a file type, a library if you wish, so in here, it's got all these files here, blah, 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 but we could go through hours for those. But we're in Swing at the moment, which I don't know where it is. But it's going to import something called Java Swing. And basically, Java Swing is the set of buttons. So every button and panel and J frame you have is pretty much a swing component. And we're adding it. And if you want to add more of them, if you were going to create more, you could simply put a star and it'll import the whole lot. But the more it imports, the more well the bigger your file is going to get so try to stick to what you're actually using because there's no chance we're ever going to use a panel 
I don't see point, we can do it without it. But yeah, so you'll scroll down and you'll see now it's corrected it. So, just like we've got a, f so we've got JP, right, so P needs some text, don't it? So we'll put P dot set text bracket, and then what should we set it to? P. Of course, there's nothing else. So let's set the size. So P dot set size. And then in here, what do we type? We want, we'll say 60, not T60, 6060. It's not Terminator. So set size, 6060. What else do we need? Well, the, when you do it, there's only really a couple of things you need. You definitely need to actually create the thing. Check. If you want to add some text, you can. That's optional. Check. Size, check. The only other thing is location. And then the others are mandatory, but you'll see. So if we just type P dot set location in C sharp, this is left and right, in Unity, this is X, Y, whatever you want. So set location, bracket, bracket. In here, where do we set it? We'll say 200 by 100, just random. So that'll say spawn at 200 pixels across in our frame, 100 pixels down. Right, what's next? So these bits are mandatory now. So first thing we've got to do, which is often forgot in most cases, apologies for that, um, a vast being a tool, but yep, so in here, we need to actually add it to the frame. So right here, it'll spawn it, correct, it'll spawn the code, but it never adds it. We need to actually add it to this. It's all added in one big array, which we'll get to eventually. So in here, all we simply do is type add P. That's it. We've added it. But now... Unlike you at C Sharp, yes, I'm plugging it again. We need to tell Java to re update it, so reapply that array. Because when it applies all the components, that's it. It doesn't loop it. It never comes back around to do it. Whereas we need to tell it to, and it's really easy. All we do is type re validate, that's it, and then bracket bracket. Just like that's it. And what this will do is a Java function. It will go through all Java's functions, just like our check stats. And it will go revalidate, re scan down everything, and add it to our form. That's it. Seriously. Really easy, isn't it? Let's try it. So click play. I'll skip. Oh, look at that. Magical editing. We're here already. So we've got zero bladder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your character needs to go to the bathroom. 70. 8, 9. Your character is about to pee themselves, and uh oh, they've peed themselves. Uh oh. So let's get there again. So we press it again; it disappears. We get all the way up close. To ah, I did it again. Now we have two peas. I didn't mean to do it. But yeah, it'll always spawn it on top. So your character is about to pee themselves. Quick, go to the toilet. You saved him. No more pee. Simple, right? I know. So. That's all we're going to do for this tutorial because it's 15 minutes, but we've actually learned a lot because that section of code there can create anything. I could change J button to, watch this, J label I believe it is. We'll add that, so J label up top. I'll change it back in a minute, that's why I'm not keeping it. So J label, let's add it. Your character is about to pin themselves and a label completely different you see why it's good now you can add a lot of things from it I don't want to go down here and say you can add this 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 because guaranteed you could probably add it anything from label to say probably anything in swing controls I guarantee you can probably add like that as long as you get the right code but yeah, it's that simple. You can people. That's how Java actually creates it. I don't know if I can actually find it. Uh, no, I can't. I was going to show you the code that Java actually does to make that. But there we go. Look, Java Swing new J label label progress bar progress bar J button does all the stuff. Set text set text set text. Of action listeners will begin to eventually, so ignore them for now, because they're a bit harder to understand. This is all to do with your layout stuff. Nah, we don't need all that. But yeah, there you go. Remember that code. You will be using it a lot in the future. If not in this, go to a job you will guarantee need it one day, and you can come back and thank me for it. But yeah, so, thank you for watching. Hope you liked it. High five to everyone. I'm going to eat my cookie now, and see you later.